the new players in the space, the new technologies. How do you think Stores Power is positioned vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis the competition and what's out there? And so the AI is constantly getting stronger and smarter and utilizing that battery. Stores Power ultimately making sure that the home is our main focus and the protection of that I think really separates us. A lot of people focus on the capacity of the battery and that is important, but what commonly is misunderstood and, and overlooked is how much power can be given any, at any time. They call it apparent power or continuous output of a system. All right, welcome back to the Solar Surge podcast. This morning, I'm joined by another special guest, Everett Brewer, CEO of Stores Power Battery and a couple of other companies that we're gonna hear yeah. about in a moment. Uh, so folks, if you're new to the Solar Surge podcast, on this program, we meet with all the industry leaders in the solar plus storage space uh, to hear their story. And of course, make sure that you all have the most up-to-date information of what's going on from an insider's view of the solar industry. So Everett, welcome to the Solar Surge podcast. Thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Yeah, I appreciate having us on. So love what you guys are doing, what you guys represent. So appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, for, for those of you who don't know you, you know, kind of let's start from the beginning. You know, how did you first get into the solar industry <laughs> and what, why did you decide to become an entrepreneur? And then why specifically in the in the solar, in the renewable energy space? Yeah, I guess I can go all the way back to when I was young. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, my family owned multiple businesses out since I was a kid. So you kind of get immersed into it. Uh, at the end of the day, that's uh, you eat what you kill. Right. And yep. so in those businesses, when you have ownership, you know, you really have to take accountability in that and making sure that your family's taken care of. And then I think uh, for whatever reason, I was selected as the oldest in this family. So you kind of have a different level of responsibility. Uh, but through that path, we uh, got into renewable energy in 2011. So been a little bit uh, part of that. We we're in uh, development and construction and also home security. And so you kind of have that entrepreneurial aspect all the way through. You kind of have to go through and make sure you're developing those skills, uh, making sure you're actually dividing and conquering every single industry as an individual, but then also finding ways to duplicate yourself with process and procedures all the way through. So uh, solar has been definitely uh, a big soft spot for me. And so this is where I'm here to stay. So I'm excited about it. That's great. Now, I understand that you settled down in Utah, correct? Yeah. And, hometown and, is Utah right now. Why do you think Utah in particular is such a center of solar business activity? You know, I think it's a, a factor of the ever-changing industry uh, categories that have grown over over years. And it really pioneered some really great leaders. Um, I would probably go all the way back to the dish days and telco days from early in the, in the late 90s, um, where, you know, door-to-door -door really started becoming a big factor of that industry. And then slowly you saw the big trend of the alarm industry and how that was able to grow um, big mecca for the big core companies that were able to position that. And of course, solar became on the map. And then you start seeing that leadership and you start seeing diversification of existing businesses where they start adding solar to their suite. I mean, if you're already in the home, you can already build rapport. You have integrity along with your business model. Um, find ways to provide a service. And, and ultimately, those trends have obviously followed suit there. And solar obviously is the top end of, of, the, of the food chain, I would say, where you have the biggest impact. Um, you can have massive adoption across because utility rates are getting ever changing and, and brutal as we, mean, as we mean it. And then ultimately too, the energy storage market attachment has really happened as well. So great place to educate and have big impact um, across the entire country because a lot of these companies are out of Utah um, and uh, just have really strong business models and have outreach from east to west. So it's where we kind of called home and and uh, we really enjoy it. That's great, that's great. Well, I know we're gonna wanna learn more about uh, both your businesses and, mm -hmm. and how all that's working. So you you have a solar, a commercial solar company that you started first, correct? That's correct, yeah. So tell so, us about that. Yeah, so uh, in the commercial space, ultimately it's a totally different beast. Um, and uh, with my mindset and the team here at Watt Hub, uh, we've had the ability to really focus on the really finer details that uh, traditional design and proposal tools just can't do. Um, and so uh, WAHUB was really developed around a channel partner program where we actually become the commercial arm for many organizations across the country. Over 3,000 companies use us as their commercial arm 
because we like to find details of uh, consumer finance and that space is way different than just, you know, doing a credit check in the home and going right to the, to the transaction. Uh, it's where you have to go through proper commercial underwriting. You have to consider constructability, you have more permitting timelines, and you can get yourself in hot water because you can miss those targets. All those per residential proposal tools um, don't hit that uh, rate schedules correctly and can really cause a big challenge. So we wanted to make sure the accuracy was there <clears throat> so that way we can make sure the customer has an end outcome that, that everybody is favorable for. And then ultimately later on finance as well, making sure it's cash on cash positive. So we really became the business that was looked at for that expertise. And through that, that's where that channel has grown to where uh, these other core companies can focus on their main core competency of residential or uh, construction or development along that way. And then really partner as a joint venture uh, to make sure these projects are accomplished. Great. Great. Now, tell me about how did you go from on the commercial solar software space now to a, or at least what I'm perceiving as, as a residential solar plus storage project with the stores power system. So why stores power? Why did you want to get into battery storage? Cause that's when I first yeah. met you was when I think when stores was kind of just getting going with his first generation chemistry, but why stores power? Why residential solar and storage? Yeah. So I'm proud to say we just turned 12 years old on Valentine's day. So we go back for some many, many years. Uh, you definitely learn a lot of, uh, industry trends and considerations for that. Um, our big focus is on safety, um, but ultimately the battery opportunity actually became uniquely fallen in my lap. Um, there was a consideration of some uh, patents that were available. Uh, the group that owned the patents didn't know anything about to do with them. They actually acquired them through a default of an opportunity they had that they had done a deal with. And I was known as a solar guy. And so to say that, uh, um, uh, this was actually intended would be false uh, because we had the commercial background and the renewable background in that case we seized that opportunity and we've since taken that now 12 years ago to the business it is today and really maturing that process and really going from a cell manufacturer to a bms manufacturer to now creating software and controls to manage the systems to have national distribution um, and many and thousands and thousands of partners and, and tens of thousands of customers that have been really happy as an outcome is has been really awesome. Um, but yeah, it's been a 12 year strength before, before batteries were a cool thing. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, now I can remember that too. I mean, you've been doing this now for longer than I have, but I've been doing it for a solid 10 years. Yeah. And I can remember 10 years ago, I mean, we were using golf cart batteries for a lot of <laughs> yeah. these projects, forklift batteries. Yep. And, uh, whatever and, Whatever you uh, get your hands on. Exactly. Yeah. Whatever you get your hands on, you know, cell phone towers were retiring their old battery backups and we would <laughs> yeah. buy that stuff up and put something together with it. Yep. So it's, yeah, it, when no policy existed, I mean, you had some, <laughs> some, uh, backyard engineering that happened a lot of times and I've seen some unique structures. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. If you've been in since as long as you have. Well, one of the cool things about being at a show like this today in 2023 is seeing just how far the battery storage sec yeah. sector has come. Mm -hmm. And 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 the and that that a lot of these products are mainstreaming now, like yeah. the idea of having a home battery, especially here in California. Mm -hmm. You know, the idea of having a home battery is not a fringe, you know, kind of a off the wall idea. I mean, this yeah. is actually now just as uh, reasonable as considering a home standby generator. Mm -hmm. So w when you look at the landscape today, the new players in the space, the new technologies, how do you think stores power is positioned vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis the competition and what's out there? Yeah, one thing I can actually uh, take pride in is the fact that we've actually implemented sa safety from the very, very beginning. Um, so I'm proud to say that we've actually had no concerns mm -hmm. of that some of the other chemistry types have had. So we have really matured the lithium iron phosphate category. They're also known as LiPo4 or LFP in the open market. Um, definitely do your research around it. There's definitely massive, massive differentiation in safety. And we're proud to have a perfect safety record all the way through. But in 2016, when we actually started fulfilling on that LFP chemistry, I mean, at the time it was bulkier, it was heavier, it was most, more expensive, but it didn't blow anybody's house up. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that was the number one thing. And so stores power ultimately making sure that the home is our main focus and the protection of that i think really separates us where we didn't defer revenue or price point or competitive nature of some of these other products just to actually challenge the safety of your home and your family um, so even though it's been a slower go on that adoption where now it's 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 full mainstream as you know lfp is the name in the game now uh, and it's really only changed in the last 24 months. I'm proud to say that we did that all the way back to 2016. 
Um, and the other consideration too is, is that a battery is only as good as uh, what tells it what to do. So if you see um, our branding, it says AI plus, uh, we really focus on the software considerations of that. Um, why is that important? Why is software even valuable in this model? Is because just like your uh, daily task change, the amount of energy you need to exert as, as, an, as a human and individual, um, that energy is totally changing day to day where your home is doing the exact same thing. And so we need to be able to uh, consider all of those profiles and forecast for it and be prepared for it. So ultimately we can tackle the utilities billing structure and make sure you're always in, in the green, right? And so the AI is constantly getting stronger and smarter and utilizing that battery um, because the misconception is batteries are just for backup. Really the way the utilities are billing now, I'm sure we'll touch on the latest policy here in California. I know Texas had major changes, uh, Utah, Arizona, uh, Florida almost lost their net metering program. It really comes down to what batteries can, uh, can help me when you're on the grid. How can I be um, in control of that energy? And that's where stores is really, really focused on making sure you have the best outcome. So um, Everett, for those that aren't familiar with your product, and I know that we're not really here just to talk about specifically your battery, but yep. can you walk us through the basics of how your product is designed? Mm -hmm. um, what inverter systems can it work with or does it work with today? Yeah. Um, the, the reason I'm asking is because there, there's a number of installers that are out there right now, and especially with the switch and the net metering rules, a number of the installers now are being approached by the battery companies. And as you know, there's battery companies popping up all over the place now, right? Some of them yeah. didn't build their own battery. They just kind of, you know, white labeled somebody right. else's generic product. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> but to installers that are out there and saying, hey, you know what, I've, I've had a successful solar business. It, it, the time is now I'm going to have to start offering some sort of a battery storage option. Mm -hmm. They're getting all this information from different vendors. What would you say to them and why should they consider your product versus some of the others that are out there? Yeah, so for one, I know it's uh, a lot of these installers are starting to get into the space. Um, they're a little intimidated, right? It's a whole new category. And so one thing that we really have helped with that is we really built the system for installers first. You've really got to have raving fans. If you haven't read the book, it's incredible. Um, you really got to have raving fans around your installers first because that's your biggest audience. They're the ones that are in the field, you know, pulling wire, getting on the roofs. And you've got to think of simplicity there. Um, they're not software guys. They're not there to do updates and commissioning and all these things. You really have to keep it simple and, and dedicated to them. So we, we really have had great outcome and success around that. And so that's the number one fac facet about that. The other piece, too, is that education never ends. It's not where like, hey, congratulations, you got the certification, see you later. Our white glove service actually takes you through step by step all the way to a virtual install uh, with the customer itself, with the partner, a line diagram review, making sure that they're getting it through the permit office. Um, when you're starting to look at different nuances of the battery storage market, and it's different in Texas than it is in California than it is in, in Ohio than it is in Tennessee. And we have that education because we've, we were installer first and a battery company second. So it gives us a different perspective. Um, and then from there at the customer consumer side, we kind of talk about price. We're able to be extremely competitive on the price side for, uh, for a really high powering system that can be really adopted in mass, mass markets all across America. So, uh, we also have the longest, uh, industry warranty of 15 years. We can do 8,000 charge and discharge cycles. That's a significant amount of power. Um, that can be used continually, continually for years and years to come. Um, what's also unique too is that uh, many systems out there, they can only install with their solar systems that they manufacture. And so with us, we're actually manufacturer agnostic. So many folks think that they miss the opportunity to look at batteries because they got solar five years ago, six years ago, 10 years ago. They're like, oh, shucks, I missed the boat. That's false. We can actually retrofit to any existing system on the market and allowing that same benefit and opportunity for their homes, uh, depending on what they're looking for. Home, home backup to a central load backup to, you know, combating utility um, infrastructure and, and grid schedule, you know, rate schedules as well. Well, um, Everett, I know that you're also pretty active on social media. Where yeah. can folks find more information or find some more of your content out there? Yeah, absolutely. So check us out on, on LinkedIn. So Everett Brewer also stores power. Um, social media is also um, Instagram, Facebook, a uh, lot of content on LinkedIn for sure. 
Uh, you also have a YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash stores power. Um, also to those of that want to get into any of the commercial information, you can actually learn commercial 101, 201, 301. We actually have a training course that's on our YouTube channel. That'll be youtube.com uh, forward slash Wathub, W-A-T-T-H-U-B. Talks about finance, constructability, underwriting, um, and designing and developing a project. So we've got three hours of content on there. There's plenty to learn about that industry as well. So definitely look forward to helping ways to bring more people uh, up to speed as far as what's going on in the industry. Uh, it takes a village and uh, happy to be a part of it. Yeah, well, well, thank you very much for what you're doing, too. I mean, as, as you know, here at Solar Surge, we're, we're very big on education. Mm -hmm. This industry does not need more salespeople. Uh, <laughs> what this industry does need, though, is more educators. Yeah. And I think if people just get the right information, then they can make good decisions on, you know, how to acquire and how to leverage this technology to best suit their needs. Yeah, absolutely. I know a big platform that we're a part of is uh, an event every year. It's every April. It'll be in Salt Lake on April 20th. It's called uh, SolarCon. And uh, I mean, the industry is fully focused on education over there. And so I'm um, really, really excited to be a part of that. And uh, that'd be a really good breath of fresh air for anybody that's looking to get into the space, wanted to gain more education um, and make sure they, they hone their craft in. Excellent. Well, we're going to be following your progress very closely. Yeah. Again, folks, Everett Brewer, CEO of Stores Power Battery. Everett, thank you so much for spending yeah. time and chatting with the audience today. Hey, thank you.